Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 Prayer Guide If there is one thing that this worldwide crisis has taught us, it is that we live in a world in need of healing. Yet, we know that as devastating as the things going on around the world have been, we live in a day where our hearts are also in peril. There are many things wrong with our land. Gun violence, financial hardships, divided cultures, and hatred for others. The list goes on and on. Fortunately, God has an answer to the problems that plague our world and fester in the human heart. His remedy begins when His people pray. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be going through a quick 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 prayer guide. Before I continue, please do me a favor. Click the like button as it helps the channel reach others just like you. Let's continue. Read 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 aloud. Let the words of God's truth sink into your mind as you pray based on this passage. If my people, who are called by my name, humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 Father, we thank you that we are your people and that we have been called by your name. Take a moment to thank the Father for the relationship he has forged with you. Without the love and grace that flows from his heart to yours, there would be no hope. Spend a time in praise that nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Think about your own salvation experience. Are you displaying an attitude of gratitude for the work God has done in your life? Father, we humble ourselves in prayer, seeking your face. Prayer is a powerful thing. It is a lifeline that we have with the Heavenly Father. God is not inaccessible. He does not wish to hide who He is from us. But we must also approach the throne of God with humility. Perhaps you need to begin to reestablish your connection with the Lord. Have you sought the opinion of others instead of seeking the face of God? Has it been a while since you have prayed at all? Spend this time getting reconnected to the glory of who God is. Be still and know that He is God. Father, we are turning from our wicked ways. Take time to confess the calluses of your heart toward the things of God. Have you sinned in some way against the will of God for your life? Perhaps there is something in your life that is blocking your ability to hear from God. If so, you may need to turn from it. Walk away from the ways that are not pleasing to the Father. Spend some time confessing your sins and resting in the promise of God's forgiveness. Father, we praise you that you hear our heartfelt prayers. Our Heavenly Father does not turn a deaf ear from the cries of His children. We can have confidence that He hears us and longs to rescue us. Thank you that no matter how many times we fail, God is always there to comfort, protect, and provide. Think of the times you have needed God and how He has heard and rescued you. Pray a prayer of praise for God's willingness to listen, no matter how small or large the request. Father, we accept your promise of forgiveness and healing. God is a God of His Word, 
When God's children call on Him and seek His face and repent of their sins to walk in the newness of life, God heals. Spend a moment thanking God for His forgiveness and healing. Pray for friends or family members who are suffering from the aftermath of diseases and sicknesses. Pray for healing in other areas of need. Use this time as an opportunity to go boldly before the throne of God. I hope this guide will help you in your daily prayers. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Stay blessed.